Well, the U.S. war on terror launched after the Twin Towers fell was sold as a vital measure to stop further attacks on American soil. But many Americans no longer buy that story. Well, let's talk more on that with Phil Reese. He's a reporter and writer on international relations, terrorism and violence. And Mr. Reese, well, the U.S. has been criticized for its leadership of the war on terror, looking at the massive collateral damage, innocent people killed, as well as uh, provoking uh, vengeance or extremist behavior. But isn't, wasn't it only natural? I mean, Washington had to react somehow to the attacks of 9-11. It could have reacted very differently. Um, it could have tried to capture Osama bin Laden at that time. Um, that wasn't the priority. It declared a war on terror, which what does that mean? Um, a war on a tactic, which is a very stupid thing. But it did provide cover for basically a new global vision, which was to project American power, American imperial power around the world and create a culture that basically legitimized war on anyone. And I think as well as the, the issues that came up in your, your package um, that was played earlier, one of the things that has happened now in the West is that war is just accepted as normal. Um, after the horrors of the Second World War in Vietnam, you know, nations went to war only when there was a very, very serious reason. Now it appears that Western politicians quite gladly go to war, um, and the domestic audiences seem to accept that because they are told about this vague and general threat to their lives and to everything we find um, important to us because of the war on terror. Well, we're looking at uh, what Washington actually did. I mean, uh, the, the methods were in some way successful. You said earlier they could have taken out Osama bin Laden, and they did in, in the end, didn't they? So uh, don't the ends justify the means then? Well, they could have specifically targeted the people responsible for 9-11, uh, which they didn't do at the time. I mean, absolutely, they invaded Afghanistan, changed its government, and of course then invaded Iraq with a grand plan to basically bring American power over large parts of the world. Um, you know, has it worked? I mean, obviously, bin Laden was captured. Yes, Al-Qaeda has been weakened in terms of, you know, Al-Qaeda central, the, that same group who were involved in the 9-11 plotting. They have certainly been weakened. But the idea that um, bin Laden promoted has become much more widespread. And look at the U.S. economy. One of the things bin Laden wanted to do, in, and this was in a speech in 2004, he spoke about bleeding dry America by forcing America into wars that it can't afford and forcing the country to become bankrupt. Well, I mean, it's not bankrupt, but it is in, you know, a terrible, terrible economic mess. So if you're looking at, you know, whose ideas survive the decade and who's perhaps winning, even though, of course, he himself has been captured, I think I'd have to tilt towards bin Laden. All right. And then, of course, uh, after all this, uh, there has also been effect in terms of perception. I mean, there's been a colossal outburst of Islamophobia, not just in America, it's around the world. How do you think that can be tackled? Well, I think, you know, we're yet to reap what's going to happen there. And I think a lot of people are looking at the Middle East and thinking, oh, well, now we've had an Arab Spring and we've got some kind of pro-Western democracy coming there. Well, I don't believe that. I think you've got a rise of Salafism, um, of Islamism, the kind of um, values that certainly bin Laden shared. Um, and indeed, you've got a huge swell of, of sort of Islamophobia. Um, so to some extent, you know, this is, I mean, <laughs> bin Laden's had no better ally than the American government over the past decade. Um, so, you know, these are serious problems for the countries themselves. That is Britain, you know, France, the United States with large Muslims po population who basically don't trust their governments anymore. So there's a major internal problem as well as all the rest of the problems we've got globally um, as a result of the reaction to 9-11. And that could have been very, very different. And just as quickly, um, immediately after 9-11, Islamist groups from Hamas to the Muslim Brotherhood in, in Egypt to Pakistani Islamist groups all um, said that it was wrong and they sided with America. But what did America do? It simply said, you're all terrorists in our mind now and you're all our enemy. So I think they had a major opportunity after 9-11 to embrace the Muslim world and those parts of it, which is the overwhelming majority that actually condemned 9-11, but they chose a different path. All right, well, thank you very much for your thoughts there. Phil Reese, reporter and writer, talking to us live from London. Thank you.